Sigo en Liverpool tras los pasos de los Beatles y mi tour me lleva a uno de los lugares más significativos para los fans. So sadly, all that remains of Strawberry Field is from that green fence to these red gates. There's all that remains of this. And this was a Salvation Army Children's Orphanage. Para los fans de los Beatles, este es uno de los sitios preferidos para mostrar su cariño. Aunque cuando la banda estaba reunida, eran las casas de los integrantes las que sufrían el mayor acoso. Paul's mom and dad's bedroom is the big window in the front, like all of us. And Paul's bedroom, the smallest window there. He said it was because it's got the view of the front and the best acoustics. When Paul McCartney moved out the house in 1964, moved his family out at one o'clock in the morning down to fan pressure. They moved out because they had fans sleeping in the front garden overnight in case, you know, didn't want to miss Paul next morning. So hundreds up to thousands of fans every day trapping the families inside the houses, keeping them as prisoners in the homes. The reason the National Trust jumped on this house, when Paul and John sat down and started writing their first songs together, it was in the living room of this house. So that Lennon and McCartney songwriting partnership started here, and that's why the National Trust bought the house in 1995. Seguimos nuestro tour hasta llegar a otra propiedad adquirida por la National Trust, la casa donde creció John Lennon. John's bedroom, a small window, where another one of his most famous songs, Please Please Me, was wrote. Yeah. Where is in Paul's? house in the living room. He wrote just under 100 songs in that living room. In this house, Paul said that he looked everywhere for places to practice. Bathrooms, because of the tiles, and toilets were the favorite places. But the most best, the best place was there. One side, Paul, the other side, John. Standing like the mirror image, as I said, Playing the favorite song, Blue Moon. La casa fue restaurada para regresarla a la apariencia que tenía cuando John Lennon vivió aquí. That was all paid for by Yoko, who still pays for the maintenance on it today. Conforme nos acercamos al final del tour, regresamos a la historia del grupo y visitamos el lugar donde todo comenzó, un 6 de julio de 1957. The most important person in the entire story of the Beatles is oh. Ivan Vaughan. He was also one of the best friends of John Lennon. It was Ivan who asked Paul, what are you doing on Saturday? We're having our garden fete. Come up, I'll introduce you to my friends and we'll hang out. It was Ivan who was the link, the key. He knew John, he also knew Paul, and he brought Paul to this event to meet John. This is a photocopy of an original program. There's four original programs in the world. The last one was sold a couple of years ago and it went for just under $10,000. In this particular city, I'm feeling like the virus could be in these moments caminando por acá, eh, no solamente como si estuvieran ahora en esta edad, sino como si tuvieran todavía poder ser jóvenes y, 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 y estar dando vueltas. Esta placa conmemora la vez que Paul McCartney y John Lennon se conocieron. El 6 de julio de 1957. Y ahí empezó todo. Have you ever take a very, very crazy fan in this tour? All the time. Like crying or screaming or something? I've had a lot of people crying. Crying where? Oh, uh, over the road, in the graveyard, when they see Uncle George and Alan Rigby. It's a lifetime ambition for people to come and see where the Beatles came from. When they come here, Walton Village, this is where it all started. And it, sometimes it does get a bit much, and you do see tears. Está padrísimo este tour, lo recomiendo muchísimo, ¿eh? está increíble, aprendes un montón de cosas y te das cuenta por qué los Beatles fueron lo que fueron. Y ya.
Chester, que todo mundo dice que es muy bonito porque esta ciudad ha sido famosa por el shopping desde hace muchos, muchos, muchos siglos. Y me hace examen como si estuviera en la escuela y me hace preguntas, entonces me pone... Miren chicos de Alan por el mundo, esta es una estatua de la famosa reina Victoria, pero si me muevo de ángulo... Podemos ver que la reina se va convirtiendo en un rey muy bien dotado.